Hi everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel, Kamalam Gontanum Legend. And on this channel, Skuluma Ama Reality TV shows, my celebrities, and my YouTubers. If it's your first time joining me today, do not forget to press the subscribe button. So, you guys, I'm going to play you here the live A in Ziwe or Entlem Bali. Of course, a lot of us were wondering how uh, she's feeling about the situation, uh, play coffee, and there's a lot of things that have come up online as if she, she's saying something negative, as if she was celebrating. And it was things that were unbelievable. You know, when they send a screenshot, like it was uh, Entlem Bali's post, but you don't know for sure that it was her post, it was those kinds of things that were going around on Twitter. So finally, she clarifies the situation, you guys. I honestly don't think that she could possibly be happy if something bad happens to uh, Black Coffee because he is the father of her child, okay? She might not love him, but I don't think that she wants her kids to lose their father. So it makes sense that here she's clarifying that, listen, you know, I was trying to be a bigger person. I tried to be a bigger person and send a message and say, listen, I hope all is well. I might not have received a positive message, but keep me out of it. Okay. And she's talking about everybody else on social media. And I guess she's talking about us too, because we're trying to find out what she thinks about the situation. Listen, you guys, I just had to get her. I can understand that a lot of people are approaching her, wanting to know what she thinks, how she feels, is she celebrating and all of this stuff. And I can understand that with her saying that she has moved on, she's in a new relationship, she's happy, how frustrating that must be for her because she just wants to move on it sounds like that you guys but she's saying ni nga ngi faki ni nga ngi faki it has nothing to do with me so here is a life right here you guys all the kids support and i tell my mom mom please do the right thing please call the family because that's what we do um and a couple of days go by and then a public statement comes out. So I'm going about my day as per normal, posting funny, cute little tweets and writing little captions on top. And I don't know what's going on. And I continue with my life because I'm having a great time. Dugu dugu. I get a call from a journalist. Hey, Twitter is bullying you. How? But on Twitter bullies already, right? And I listen in and I say, listen, off the record, I don't take Twitter seriously. You shouldn't take Twitter seriously either. The majority of the people, they love to create drama. I'm well, thank you so much for checking on me and the kids. Life continues. Ibo, Mina, Ngentliziam, send the email, Ngitiyo, sorry. Mwese, upole. Ne? Because my mama taught me that way. Ah, do I not get an email saying, I... Stop pretending like you care. And I decided to do this today. And my PR is going to be on me. <laughs> I'm in trouble with my PR. I'm in trouble with my mom. I'm in trouble with my lawyers. I'm in trouble with a lot of people right now. But I am so tired. I'm so tired of being the bigger person. In case you guys haven't noticed, I am living my life. In case you guys haven't noticed, when I said I wanted a divorce, I wanted a divorce because there were two children by two different mothers. Ne? And I made the decision after a lot of thinking, even pre and post the, the whole situation, there was some shit happening. Ne? And I haven't said a word. I have only reacted to the things that have been done to me. I'm not gonna delete this. So to those of you who feel like they wanna screenshot it and be the first to get the news, it's not about news for me. I have my freedom. Stop taking it away. Yes, I may not be divorced just as yet. And many little petty things could be used for the divorce case, which is by the way in November. So you're free to come to court, all of you, and just see the truth come out, right? This is so unfortunate because I have two beautiful little boys who I'm constantly trying to protect from the situation in my silence. But niapora, nonke. To those of you who follow me to try and find something I am saying about a particular nigger, I don't care for him. I care for his well-being. 
because I have children with him and I care for my children. And that is why I sent an email saying, my Lord, this is crazy. Get better. I did it for my children first. You never want to see a human being go through that or lose their life while they still have children. But it's annoying how I'll get messages. Eh, how do you feel now? Black Coffee has a newborn baby. I don't care. It's his life. I think everyone needs to start understanding at this point. I left for a reason. And women take long to make the decision to leave. And it took long for me. Do I wish him well? All the time. And that's why every time he does well, I will egoless say congratulations. However it's received, it's none of my business. I do the right thing because my mama taught me better than that. Now to all of you who keep perpetuating this thing, I'm sure he's over it. I know I'm definitely over it. Stop. Stop going onto my profile and searching for things that don't exist. Nia Jola, guys. Nia Jola. Enegumnandi. Nyegeleni. I have a freedom that I'm enjoying right now. Nyegeleni. I don't have to share my personal life with you. But I think it's January. I just need to keep it so it's off my chest. And so you can know how to behave from now on. But I care for the well-being of my children. So from my heart to yours, it's six years. Six years later, you guys need to get over it. You really need to get over it. Or y'all need to find psychologists to help you get over my divorce. Because I can tell in Petegabi, if you want to wish him well, wish him well. Ningang Fagi. If I post a picture looking snatched, it has nothing to do with him and everything to do with me. So tell me I look snatched without saying, ooh, he lost out. Ayla, move on. And to all of you, family members, friends, my family knows I know nothing and they don't tell me anything. I always find out from the other side. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm not interested. But if it has to do with my children and their well-being, emotionally, physically, and all of the above, yes, I will say, Paula. So to all of you following me with fake accounts, um, to all family members, to all friends, to all instigators. Grow up. When a woman leaves, her heart was gone a long time ago. I am now going through the processes to ensure that my kids' well-being for the rest of their lives, they don't need to suffer like I did. So that they are good. Ne? So, ikamalam ikipeni what it has to do with him. Ikamalake, likipeni, what it has to do with me. Because I have moved on a couple of times. I missed my 20s. I'm catching up. <laughs> ne? So, it's January. Now that it's all out the way, to all of you who screen grabbed it, trust me, I won't delete it. I'm going to let it live here because I feel everybody needs to see it. Eating seven zeni. Eating is kuli sefuti. Stop making it about that. It's not about that. So if you feel everything I do is about that, get a psychologist. Come to Entle Case, we can help you. Vice versa on his end. I'm happy. Happiness cannot be bought. I am happy. Happiness cannot be stolen. My heart cannot be stolen. Via my email, via social media. 
Yegelani. My 33rd birthday. My Jesus age. I throw a party because it's my Jesus age. Someone comes to me, treats me badly, and I'm the bad guy. Stop it. It's enough. I've been a lady, but in Pume White Seat. The Gassi cannot leave me. I may have left the Gassi, but we, if we absolutely have to go there, I can do it. It's a choice not to. You know, I heard a powerful saying once that if you are a beast and you control the beast in you for the benefit and, and the safety of everyone around you, it's power. So I accept the power that I have and what I could possibly do and what could possibly shake. And I haven't. Don't push me. Don't push me because I'm close to the edge and I'm trying not to lose my shit. Post that shit. Make that shit trend on Twitter. I'm a lady. But I can also be one heck of a bitch. I have a beautiful heart. But don't push me. Don't push me. I have nothing to lose. Don't push me. So, happy 2024. I'm going to go out with my girls right now. I look cute. I feel cute. Stop it. Nonke. In the famous words of Euphonic, I'd like to add stop it next to it. Stop it. Nonke. My phone has been tapped since the year 2018. And this person's persistent. They tell me what I do. Without context, they tell me what I do. It's just the tip of the iceberg. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not stupid. I'm nice. I don't let all the lies that go around. Hey, hey, Entley wants 500,000 a month. Hey, hey, Creating little tweets of me saying stuff like footech, footech, whatever. I don't talk like that. And I would never do that on Twitter. Ever. I prefer a video. So that you know that it's me that did it. No one else. So I'd like to apologize to my lawyers. I'd like to apologize to my mom. I'd like to apologize to my grandma. I'd like to apologize to my boo. I had to do this. Um, it's tiring. Um, and I'm only human. Keeping quiet doesn't always work. I'm only human. Let's continue to regular programming. I'll continue posting great things, happy babies, smiling, and the best things I've ever seen or heard on that day. That wasn't the first time I posted that. Get your stuff right. And if you're going to be stupid about it, be stupid in your own space. Don't lung faggy in your stupidity. But otherwise, I hope there's great healing on the other side. I hope it's speedy. I hope um, the children can continue having a parent. So... Thank you, Kwa Entle Mbali Mlojwa. Have a good time on your side.